Hello lovely world, it's Terhi here again. Today I'm making a scrapbook layout with um, pebbles, products and also with some lovely tools from We Are Memory Keepers. This is a premium uh, paper trimmer. It got light and you can score with it and do a lot of things. Um, and I absolutely love it because you can add the whole 12 by 12 page there and it's really handy. Uh, I also love the light but that's a whole nother story so let's focus on this layout. Um, I'm adding a little marks dividing this um, edge to six sections uh, because I want to have five eyelets on each side. Um, I have this theme called Mail Layout and I'm thinking about it that um, I could do like really manly things like trucks or even beer or something like that but um, I prefer telling a story about what the man on the layout loves to do or what's what is he doing at the moment so I took this picture of my husband last summer he was leaving with a small boat to fishing and um, it's really beautiful picture there's sunset and everything and um, the fishing inspired me to do this kind of fishing web I'm not sure if that's a real English word but I, I really hope that you understand what I'm <laughs> explaining here uh, but anyway um, this design would go with any kind of theme but for me it presents a fishing web and I'm really happy about it uh, what I'm doing is that I have these eyelets on each side um, five of them and then I'm going to add uh, embroidery thread from here to there and without rules, without any patterns I'm just adding them, them going from here to there um, first I'm going to attach it with washi tape just because I want to make sure that um, uh, the design is the way I want and also because if I have to loose or tighten the thread once I'm adding all the pictures and papers and ephemera and everything like that so I will add a real, uh, real tape or something behind the page once it's finished. So this was actually super fun just to add these threads so I'm really sure that I will um, someday get the uh, crop adile big bunch, uh, no big bite, because you can then add those eyelets in the middle of the paper. Um, I'm using this new beautiful line from Bebbles and Jen Hatfield called Hey Hello. Um, even though I'm making a male layout, I think you can always add some flowers, some um, kind of girly colors. Uh, I, I personally don't think you, you should never uh, think about male colors and female colors or boy colors or girl colors. Because even my husband loves pink, color, uh, pink flowers. So why not adding some blooms to every layout? They are always pretty. But anyway, uh, I'm fussy cutting some elements from the papers. First those blooms and another blooms and then also bees and um, something like that. Uh, just make sure that I have um, enough things to play with when I'm adding all the things to the to the page. I'm also adding these paper clips, at least one of them. Um, it's always fun to add some uh, hard elements like metal on the page and then there's soft 
something like that, right? Um, I'm going to add a small patterned paper piece behind those photos, but I'm first planning how to design the thing. There's raccoon and there's hedgehog and all kind of fun um, animals and creatures in this line, in the ephemera pack and all uh, in the stickers. Um, they are all so cute. Uh, and I wanted to use those strips, the bottom strips from the patterned papers and uh, I'm just making a small flax of them. Just cutting them and then I'm going to ha hang there, hang them <laughs> to the threads. Um, it will make a nice dimensional thing on the layout. And it's super easy to do and it's always good to use all those bits and pieces um, we have left on using the pages. I don't like using or making a lot of trash. So what I'm doing is that I'm attaching these pictures like this and then just adding a lot of embellishments going under the pictures and over the pictures and um, on the threads and under the threads and um, it makes a really dimensional, really uh, living layout uh, and I'm not adding any super large titles, just um, the paper clip saying yeah you and a uh, small, small piece of paper saying my dear and stuff like that and I think it's good to go. Um, I'm using a lot of foam tape and foam dots again, which is kind of not surprising, I think, but uh, it's good to use that because I like having some shadows and dimensional thing on the lake. And um, just adding those last flags and then adding some stickers. That's the way I usually do. I always use the paper thing first, like pattern of papers and the camera, I got some um, these kind of things and then I'm adding stickers. Why am I doing that? Maybe I should add, um, do another layout, my next layout, the way that first I'm <laughs> using the stickers and then everything else. No, just kidding. I like the way I'm making them and uh, of course sometimes it, it's really tricky to uh, find where to add uh, each embellishment so maybe that's just really wise to add those paper things first that stickers last because stickers are much harder to, to move around. And again, even though it's male layout, I'm adding some hearts because I think scrapbook layout should look like the one who has done it because why not? Why should scrapbook layout look like, um, like a boy or like a girl? It should look like the one who is telling the story and um, from my perspective. Of course, I'm writing a long journal to the back side of the page, telling a lot of things about my dear husband, and I also asked um, him what did, what did he get from the fishing trip, and uh, so it's his story too, as well as mine. Anyway, some missed clicks for the finishing touches and then I'm ready. Um, I really hope that you are somehow inspired by this layout. It's a bit different than I usually do, but um, I highly recommend to try these, these thread things going over your page. It was super fun and uh, thanks for watching this video. We will see you again soon. Bye!